Hey everybody, Bourbon Country Mom here. Good morning and happy Sunday. Um, I'm out on the back deck just watering our tomato plants to make sure that we can continue to get them to grow and maybe get us a tomato we can pick off for once. Um, not really sure what we're gonna be getting into today. Um, we're gonna head out here in a little bit. My husband was out mowing the grass and he's done now, so he's gonna get cleaned up and then we're gonna go see what kind of adventures we can get into today. Hi. Joey wants to say hi. I want to show him my big tomato. All right, so I'm going to flip you guys around because he has a really big tomato on his plant. It's not red yet for us to pick, but he wants to show you guys. All right, here's Joey's big tomato plant. Let me show him the whole thing first. All right, and here's the tomato that Joe wants to show you guys. It's not red yet, but it's getting there. Got Mom, some what's wrong right with this tomato? I don't know. It's got a little special part on it. Like would be. All right, we'll go over here. We'll see what what do we have? Big tomatoes on this one too, Joe. Mm, this one inside here, but it's not oh that big. Oh my goodness! Way back in there, can we? There it is, back there. I think that's about it on that one. All right, so we have decided to stop off at Jane's Saddlebag. It's down in Big Bone Lick. Um, it's got like a general store, restaurants, they have different kinds of festivals throughout the year. Um, I know they have a craft beer festival, a wine festival, a kids fest. I'll be sure I'll, I'll put their um, website down in the description so you guys can click on it and check it out. Um, and just, I did call to verify, they take cash and all major credit cards except for American Express. So I'm gonna flip around so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Here's the 2017 calendar of events. So I got the special of today, which is the chicken, bacon, and cheese croissant with chips. So it just comes with a bag of Lay's chips. And they also gave me a side of ranch to either put on it or use it if I need. And then Mark got the Willy Mammoth cheeseburger and he added bacon. His also came with chips. And then Molly got the kid peanut butter and jelly with pretzels. So for dessert, we're trying the Ice Age Pie, which is one of their signature things here. It's $6, and they have it in two different flavors. We chose the peanut butter, but it's also available in cappuccino. Um, this essentially is like a piece of bread of some sort. It was a loaf with ice cream then they cut it and then they serve it with the whipped cream and the chocolate syrup so let's give it a try it's got a little freezer burn on it See? that's good it tastes like peanut butter yeah um you can definitely tell it's like ice cream um, I don't get, I don't get the, like the bread or the loaf or whatever, but it's like, you know, it's like peanut butter ice cream, sliced in like cake form, but it's good. All right, so we are currently out on the back deck of the restaurant. Right out here in the front, this is the Ohio River. They've got a bonfire pit here. They have an amphitheater where they have sh like shows and concerts. And then over here to the side, you can see part of the kids' village, um, but we haven't made our way over there just yet. And then over here, we've got a historic smokehouse, which we'll head down there next and check that out. All right, so this is 
historic smokehouse from the 1800s. Looks like they now use it as a storage facility. Um, and they actually restored it back in 2002. They've got a little seating area over here as well. It says Cowgirl Cafe. I don't know if anybody actually sits there, but cute little place right here. Hi. Joey wants to say hi. Hi. The back view of the restaurant. We came down this stairwell right here. Got a nice, uh, like a little garden in here with some flowers. And then over here to the right of the restaurant, they have a large seating area as well as play area for the kids is coming up over here. So we'll head over here and take a look at what they've got. There's the family dog hanging out up there. And then if you look over here, this is the side of the restaurant and they're actually able to come down these stairs and you can pretty much sit wherever you want to on the property. So you've got this seating area out here. And here we are at the play area. One of the play areas for the kids. This is like the actual like playground. All right, so over here we have the kids' playland, which closes at five. We also have Jane's Wine Shop. Check that out. And then over here we have Wyatt's General Store. All right, so we're gonna go in and check out the wine shop. event coming up next Saturday. They got wine on the menu as well as this is um, their bourbon here, Jane Saddleback Reserve. Um, and as I just showed you inside of the wine store, they also have the wine slushies. So this is going on next Saturday from 1 to 5, the wine and chocolate tasting right here. So they have free samples of their bourbon that they make here inside of Jane's Wine Shop. So get you a little sample right, right here, and then here's what their bottle looks like. All right, so let's give it a try. Oh, it smells really mm. good. Oh, that goes down smooth. It's good. It is. It's very smooth. Feel the Kentucky hug. Yeah. Oh, that's good. A Kentucky hug. <laughs> yeah, she said you can feel the Kentucky hug as it goes down. That's the first time I've heard I know, I like that. That was good. We have soap bars, vanilla and bourbon, $10 each. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Mmm, and you can definitely smell the vanilla in it for sure. I have decided to try the peach mango wine slushie. It comes with a cute little Hawaiian shirt to snap you to sit upon. These are five dollars. Get a mini straw and a mini spoon. What do you think of the wine slushie? Yeah, it's good. It's refreshing on a hot day. Yes. All right. So the peach mango wine slushie is actually made with a Chardonnay, and as Mark said, it is. It's very refreshing, especially for being out on a hot summer day definitely get one of these for five bucks. I mean, you get a decent amount of slushy. And they also, in the restaurant, have orange slushies that are kid friendly. Um, and she said that theirs actually comes in the size of like a red solo cup. So they get a little bit more than what the adults do. See what happened to the last cowboy that complained? She's super friendly. Her name's Moxie. So now we're gonna take a trip into Wyatt's General Store. Mommy! 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 Mommy!
Here's another oh, event Mama. board here letting you know again of the wine and chocolate tasting next weekend. Mama. There's kitty cats. Kitty oh my goodness, the kid says there's kitty cats in here. Oh look, they have two kitty cats inside this door with a frozen pillow. It's a woolly mammoth Siberian cat. We've got some books up here, the story of Big Bell Mud. We've got some clothing. Some t-shirts. Looks like t-shirts run at 20. And some stuffed animals. We've also got some jewelry, as well as some mugs, and the wine glasses, which the wine glasses can also be purchased over in Jane's Wine Shop. Mommy's got a little wine rack here that they're selling for twenty five. You also can purchase your petting zoo passes. Playland passes in here at the general store. And they have a map here that shows you, which they have these available in smaller little pocket sized ones as well that you can pick up. Looks like they've got a picture board over here of the animals and their names at the Penning Zoo. And they also, as you saw in the restaurant, they have pictures of people that have been here all over the place, just showing how much fun everyone's been having. We've got some more knickknacks over here, and we've got a table. Let's see what we got over here. So over here, we still have the the story of Big Bone Lick, like we saw over there, and some of the other merchandise. And this is like a big poster. And then just more of the merchandise that we've already seen displayed over here as well. And it looks like we've got some greeting cards and postcards over here. All right, so we're checking out the Kids Village now. This is the farthest building from the main buildings here. This is Big Bone Lick Distillery, Jane's Saddlebag. So we'll go inside, see what's on the inside, and I'm sorry if it's dark. They got information about Lewis and Clark in Boone County, Kentucky. Follow the trail. To the animals. Let's see what this information is it's here. It's pretty cool, this one. I like that other one. Some newspaper clippings. This and it looks like these papers here are going to be a Boone, a Big Bone Lick timeline. Mommy, look what happened. Something attacked. So if you want to read it, because it's so small, you guys have to come out here and check out Jane's Saddlebags so you can read the timeline. Hi. We're, we're at the kids' village. Something attacked. Right, the next building that we're coming up on is the Cattle and Land Title Company. It's got a little, like, carport-looking thing on the side. Let's see what's inside. Yeah, that ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, I just got attacked by a bug. Oh man. Mommy. All right, so they have some additional information in here as well. They have stuff up on the walls Mommy, for you to look at. Here. This is the haunted mansion. Oh. This is there the a chandelier on the ground? Mansion, Dad. Dad. Yeah. Hi. 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 The museum. Mom. Mom's the museum. Yep, this there's stuff from the museum in Cincinnati. Looks like this one has more about the, uh, the, bones, the fossils and stuff that are found. Okay. So, like Mark was saying, it looks like this has a lot of stuff about fossils and things like that that you would find in this area. All right, the next building is going to be the Big Bone Jail. We got a nice little bar where you would tie your horse up back in the day. There's Molly. She's in jail. 
Mark's in jail. Oh no. They're all wanted. <laughs> They're all wanted. All right. And then on the inside, this is, they're calling it Memory Lane. So kind of like inside at the other places in the restaurant. They've got pictures of everybody who's been out this way. And you can tell, I mean, these have been here for a while. So these go back some time. Hey. <laughs> Mom, somebody's taking a bath. Somebody's taking a bath. Yeah, we've got these big troughs in here. All right, and there's looking out at the through the jail bars. Oh, hey, Joe. Hey. Building Big Bone Church. However, Joe seemed to think that this is where people died, so I think he thought it was a funeral home. Pastor Corbin. It's a cute little building. Stole the money from the church. Yeah? Yes. He just got some crosses and some truck boards that you can write on. I told you. Leave a message, positive words for people. It's a cute little building. Mommy. And Molly found an angel. All right, so the last stop in the Kid Village is the Time Auto Sales Garage. It's got some license plates out front, a bench so you can wait while your car is getting serviced, and a 24-hour number. Make sure you call 1-800-WE-BUSY. Got some hubcaps down here. Got one, a tire that's painted. Looks like they've got a little car in here that kids can sit in. Got some ramps, an old tire shirt. And it looks like they also have a bunch of pictures in here on the walls as well of like the older cars that come up and, and hang out. All right, so now we're gonna head across the street from the main buildings to the petting zoo. So you just gotta make sure you wanna clearly check both ways before you try to cross the road or you could get hit by a car. The cow back here, you gotta be careful for that. There's the goats that are hanging out outside. Get up close and personal with the goats. So we're inside the barn now. <laughs> All the animals, honey. I just pet. I just pet the dog. Yeah. No, no, I'm gonna pet the dog. Go ahead. Hey. 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 What do the goats do? What just do be the nice. Goats? The sign says to make sure that you're nice. Mommy, look at this big one. I know. I see him. Oh, I didn't even know anything was in there. Dad, look at that big goat. Oh. <laughs> we have, huh? Look. That's your Mommy, we The three horses are up at the top of the hill because they keep crossing through the pond and <gasps> then we have to go chase them down. And then this is Grace. Mark is right behind. You don't want to pet the, it's a llama, right? Yeah. It's a llama. I'm not petting her. It is great. She's really nice if you scratch her behind her ears. Oh, look. She spits. No, she doesn't spit at you. She doesn't spit. See, you can pet her. Mommy. I was like her favorite. Daddy's got a new friend. A week ago. Now she's okay. You see the donkey, Mommy? Yeah, and then uh, the brown goat. Will he, he's, it's a donkey friend, Mommy. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the llama does not like the donkey, like, at all. She spits at him all the time. <laughs> Remember, guys, just don't touch her ears.
I think he's out here. Look at me. Look at you. used to be in there, but the cats just kind of run around now. But Zoe's but, nest all out there. But why do we get in there? there? You don't go in this one. This is the feed room. People don't go in here, but we can walk around. All right, let's go around and see. Yep. Yeah. What's his name? Dominic? Yeah, the donkey. Dominic? Someone pooped? Yeah. Nice little pond back here with a house up next to it. Uh, when we were getting our passes, they were talking about there's turtles. Okay. They come out, they're out, you can pet them, but. She was bottle fed when she was a baby, so she's like a big puppy. Wow. But, Why can we yeah. get it? Huh? Nobody else is allowed to come in. I came in so she'll come up front, because if you play with her for a second and walk away, she'll follow. Look at all that poop, Dad. Look at all that poop. You gotta watch those horns, you don't kill somebody. Come here. And move for it. <laughs> Someone used to be in that bathroom. Come here, Zoe. That's where she drinks out of. There she is. <laughs> She's being a turd. She's camera shy. Yeah, there you go. Whoa. There she is. Look. All right, so the wine slushies were so good, we decided we were gonna grab another one. But this time, they have not only the wine slushies, so the peach mango wine slushies with the Chardonnay, but they also have pina colada with rum. So she actually mixed it for us. So let's try this one. I don't get any pina colada yet, because it's all orange. <laughs> but it's really good, these are so good. You have to make sure, and they're only five bucks. You should definitely grab a few while you're here. All right, everybody. So we're coming to a close on this Sunday evening. So I just wanted to do a little recap of today, um, which you're viewing throughout the video right now, or you have been. Um, so Jane's saddlebag overall, I thought was really fun. It was really cute. Um, the food was good at the restaurant. Um, the, the chicken bacon cheese that I had was, um, it had really good flavor. Um, the croissant was nice and soft, which was really nice. And then the side of ranch actually was pretty good. I did end up dipping most of my sandwich in that. Um, my husband said the cheeseburger had good flavor as well. And, um, the kids PB and J was, I mean, pretty straightforward, you know, peanut butter and jelly, just like you would make at your house. Um, can't really go wrong with that. Um, it was a little bit on the expensive side. Um, we did end up getting a dessert just so that way, you know, we could show you their, um, their one dessert that they are like famous for or is like their trademark um overall it was i believe it was like 40 dollars and change and that doesn't even include my youngest eating we just got her she just wanted a bag of chips um so it was a little bit on the expensive side but the food was good um the like the like i said the dessert was i mean it was on point i would definitely go back for the dessert um we also checked out the wine shop and the general store, which those were both really cool. Um, they had, you know, a bunch of little knickknacks that you could buy, um, you know, all the merchandise that I showed you guys in the video. And it was decently, it was, you know, priced just like you would find pretty much anywhere else. Um, and the wine shop was really, it was really cute inside with the tables that you could sit at and the wine slushies were really good. So it's the pina colada slushie. Um, their bourbon that they 
are distilling themselves was also really good it had great flavor it was very smooth um, and like the bartender said uh, you know feel the Kentucky hug when it goes down that little burn down your throat which was really cool um, the little kids village was neat with the little buildings the kids had a lot of fun going inside and looking at the stuff um, the play area the kids had a lot of fun but a lot of this stuff was you know it kind of looked a little bit run down, but it was, the kids had a great time. And I, you know, when there's kids constantly playing on stuff, it's gonna get run down. So that happens. Um, we also did the petting zoo, which normally is um, for just a petting zoo. It was $8 per person, but you could do like a VIP pass for that and the Playland, which I didn't realize at first that you had to pay for the Playland. So the playground that I showed you guys, um, but you get like a little wristband that you wear after you pay. But they offer coupons right inside the general store that you basically like buy one, get one free. So that was helpful. Um, the petting zoo, it was okay. And the kids like the kids had fun and you know they liked to they were petting some of the animals and things like that but there weren't as many animals as you would think that a petting zoo would have that that was probably the biggest downfall which is there weren't as many animals as you would expect to have at a petting zoo they had a bunch of goats they had one cow um, she's like she has huge horns and she was very shy today she didn't want to turn around to let everybody see her face which I thought was cute they had a llama um, and a sheep and they also had a donkey and the donkey's name was Dominic and he was actually really funny because my husband walked over and petted him and then after he started to walk away he was following him which I caught on on video so you guys just saw that more than likely um, they had one dog that was in a cage there but then they also had a dog that was out roaming so I'm not, I don't know what was going on with the white one they used to have a pig but um, they were saying last season that she got really sick, so they had to put her down. Um, but they still advertise the pig on the fence, but I just want to let you guys know that the pig is not there anymore. Um, they do have three horses. However, they've been having issues with them getting in the pond and having to get them out. So they had them, they were like up at the top of the hill in the pasture, so we didn't get to see the horses. So we saw goats, don a donkey, a llama, a cow with huge horns and a sheep and then two dogs like I said one was roaming and one was in a cage so I wasn't sure what was wrong with the one in the cage but it loved to be pet the kids loved to pet it so um <clears throat> I would say overall I would give Jane Saddlebag a thumbs up they def they have a lot of festivals which I think would be really cool to go to they do have a craft beer festival coming up um, in September so I think I'm definitely gonna try to head back down there and check that out and get some video coverage for you guys there um, but yeah overall I thought it was a great time the kids had a good time the wine slushies were really good I know I keep talking about them, but they were really good and really refreshing because it was hot today um, and the food was good so as long as the kids have fun, that's like the biggest thing for me. And they, they did have a really good time there. So it's a great place to take the kids to hang out for the day. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close this up and head on to bed because it's back to the work grind tomorrow. Um, if you guys are liking the videos, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, um, and just, you know, leave a comment this, to say, hey, let me know you're out there because um, I really appreciate your guys' views and um, hanging out with me every day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. You have a great night. Cheers.